Well, can we go ahead and just start by talking about uh, Breakthrough and just sort of how you kind of got involved with the project, how you heard about it, and um, how, where you decided to go with it? Well, uh, my representatives, you know, brought it to me, um, and it was offered to me by, you know, GE and Ron Howard and you know, Brian Grazier. They were, you know, part of the producing it, part of the producing partners in it, National Geographic, all oh, wonderful, wonderful company to be a part of. So found it intriguing, hmm, interesting idea. And uh, then I heard of, you know, the uh, various subjects that were being talked about, whether it's pandemics or water or energy or the brain and, you know, and the other directors that were, that were involved. And I thought, oh, it's a great company. I feel very humbled to have been asked. And, um, and water was uh, intriguing to me because, you know, it's, you know, it's a vital resource, diminishing resource, um, populations burgeoning, exploding, which is, you know, making it very, very timely, of course, living in California, and it's always, you know, present in our consciousness about, you know, the drought and the need and, uh, you know, the, the farmers. And, I mean, that, that was new information to me, you know, certain crops that require so much water that now, you know, it's a choice to to uh, dig them up, you know, walnut, walnut, who, who knew? <laughs> you know, I didn't know, you know, or, or really what it takes to, how much water it takes to make a, a shirt, you know, 800 gallons or so. So lots of interesting little, you know, bits of information. And then the problems around, around the world, you know, the concerns and innovations, the scientists, the people who are coming up with solutions in their community and communities, you know, far, far away from them as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you were talking too a bit about um kind of just how much like different directions you could kind of go with this and how did how did you end up kind of deciding where to start with this because like you said it is such a big uh especially in california it's such a big topic to well talk about. well with with the uh you know the input of ge and national geographic they knew you know they were aware of certain scientists and and certain projects around the world so really for me it was about well how do you want to deal with it and it was just for me personally was because this was not my, you know, my world documentary. It was really just about the people, the drama that's inherent, you know, through the people, through their struggles and what they're trying to accomplish. Right. Well, the crux of that episode to me is the, uh, the, the work of Water Tower. Yes, one. yes. Um, what was that kind of like seeing that sort of go from beginning to end and watching that whole thing kind of develop right on camera? Yeah, for me that was, um, I, that was, you know, one of the more compelling because you, you saw, you know, people from different parts of the world coming together, working together to, you know, to come up with a solution and uh, it, it, it not working, you know, there, you know, whether it's language or whether it's the nature or whether it's pr protocol or culture, or, you know, so um, it had a lot of interesting uh, elements to it. But when people from these disparate places come together, I, I um, you know, I was moved by that, just personally moved emotionally by that. And um, I think that's, that's what it takes. It takes being moved by emotion, by passion and inspiration to work together and to get something done, to come up with a solution. And that's, that's what we need, especially with water being, you know, 1% of it being usable by human, you know, by us and uh, it being vital that without we, we perish. So we have to work together. That was just, you know, you could see it, you know, in, in, in color there. But um, as our scientist, uh, Sandra Postel, who, who we also see in the series that we have to find a way to appreciate, to manage it and, and, and to value it more. And I think ultimately, yeah, ultimately that's what we want from the series, that we'll find that we'll become more conscious of, you know, of this, of our resources and how we can work together right. to extend it. When you directed and narrated this, and mm -hmm. this, this is, like you said, sort of a different uh, mm -hmm. format medium than what you're used to doing. Yeah. How, how, is, how is the uh, the process of working on a documentary as opposed to something on, like a movie or a TV show that you've worked on before? Um, if it uh, Definitely different, you know. I mean, a, a little slower sometimes, you know. I feel like it's, you know, it's slower, you know, a little... Um, 
because it's a little this, a little that, a little this, you know, as opposed to that one linear, you know, connected story. It's disconnected by, you know, the idea, the, the idea of the water, the umbrella. But, and uh, so as an audience, you sit and you see how these stories are in interconnected. Maybe it's like a little series of, uh, not, not a, like a, a mini series or something, <laughs> little small stories here, there, here, there, here, there, as opposed to one continuum. Yeah.